Hello again, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and today I'm down here at my chicken pen and don't worry I'll let these guys out soon but I just want to talk about how do you keep your pen safe from foxes and dogs. Now I'm not exempt from dog attack. Uh, a few years ago my next door neighbour's dog got out from their yard and actually got into my pen and killed about six chickens. This is a really horrifying experience for any chicken owner when they come down and not only find dead chickens but find the dog in the pen doing the deed. And uh, in this particular occasion uh, it took a lot of restraint not to actually hurt the dog. But what it actually did is grab it by the scruff of the neck and took it back over to the neighbours and demanded my money for the chickens that I lost. But still, uh, money doesn't replace good laying birds and chickens that you're really fond of. And the fact that they went through a horrifying death isn't a really uh, good feeling for any chicken owner. So, what happened with my chicken pen? Well, I had some fundamental flaws in my design. Firstly, I designed my chicken pen in with my backyard, so the, although it's nice and it uh, blends in with the scenery and that's what I wanted, the flaws I have is because it's done around trees, etc, it's harder for me to dig the wire down to prevent dogs from getting under. Because of tree roots and those type of things, uh, the nature of the ground and the actual size of my pen is quite large. Um, so although I free range my chickens and ducks, the fact is that I could keep them in this pen full time if I wanted to because it's big enough. But um, anyway, I choose to leave them out through the day and I'm going to let them out soon. So without raving on too much more, the crux of the matter is I needed to find a poor man's solution to how do I keep dogs and foxes out of my pen without having to dig a concrete trench all around my whole pen, which costs a lot of money, very labour intensive, and how do I get through all these big gum tree roots all around my the pen. So what I've done is I've laid a skirt all around the pen and I've secured that skirt to just some standard chicken wire and as the skirt comes out I've laid on logs uh, and pretty well any type of material I can, any natural type of material I've found uh, to secure that skirt down onto the ground. And the reason why this works so effectively is because a dog doesn't, and a, and a fox, a fox will dig and dig a long way down, um, but that'll take quite a while, pretty well, unless you live in sand, but uh, then you wouldn't have my problem. But um, in this type of setting, if you've got a skirt laid out, say half a metre of wire, coming down from your, from your main fence, a dog's not going to dig and crawl at the same time, if you can imagine. They'll dig and they'll dig under and they'll go. They don't like to dig and then keep digging for half a metre or so and crawl as they do underneath wire or underneath a log. It just doesn't work. So actually that type of design works quite well. So what's the skirt made out of? Well, it's just a standard thick gauge fencing dog fence or dog proof mesh that isn't that instead of being laid straight is half of it is laid up the chicken wire so the dog or a fox can't simply chew through the chicken wire and get through the fence and the other half is laid out along the ground about half a metre so at the end of the day, to cut a long story short, it was cheaper for me to just pin this wire all around my existing chicken pen onto the, the chicken fencing wire, 
rather than try to dig this wire underground 30 centimetres or so and cement it in or rock it in. By using a skirt, it took me only a day to do my whole pen and securing it to the ground with logs or litter or even dirt um, is really easy and effective way for one person to dog or fox proof the pen. Since I've laid this out, it's been a, a few years now, I haven't had any sign of not even any dog trying to even dig under it, let alone trying to get through it. That's given me peace of mind and it's given the chickens and the ducks peace of mind also. So that's it. I'm Mark Valencia. If you want to protect your birds but you want to save on costs, consider using a skirt method instead of trying to dig down around your pen. It's just as effective but it doesn't cost near as much. Get to the forum, check out the video there if you want. Check out what we're talking about. Ask a question if you, if you need to. That's what the forum's about, selfsufficientculture.com. And I better let these guys out before they do my head in with all this noise. See you later. Go on then, go and have a look.